After the death of Protesilos, the Greek army landed on the seashore, in front of the walled city of Troy, and the Trojan War began. The Trojans did not imagine that the Greeks would launch a thousand ships, to take back home just for one woman. Now the enemy was at their door, they had to fight. If they did not, the Greeks would demand their surrender, and mountainous piles of gold in tribute. King Priam decided to fight, and sent messages to all his friends and allies asked for help, everyone accepted, and joined him as soon as they could. It was a war in which the gods and goddesses took sides, and worked against each other as hard as men fought. In the tenth year, Agamemnon and his army failed to take the city of Troy, so they invaded several other cities, that were on the side of the Trojans. A number of princess had fallen fighting, and their families and dependents had been taken prisoner. Among these were several beautiful princess, were handed over as slaves to various leaders. The best of these princesses were Briseis and Chrysae. So they were given away as prizes to the greatest two warriors, Briseis to Achilles, and Chrysae to Agamemnon. When princess were taken prisoner, their fathers had to pay their owners really handsome ransoms, if they were alive and wished to free the daughters from slavery. Briseis was apparently an orphaned girl, who had no relations left alive. No one came forward to ransom her. But Chrysae's father brought huge quantities of treasure to Agamemnon, and begged him to release her. Agamemnon, however refused to part with her. Chrysae's father was a priest of Apollo, the sun god. He went back home without his daughter, made many offerings to the god Apollo, regarding his daughter's fate. Apollo sent down to the Greek camp a plague. Soldiers began to die like flies, and funeral pyres burnt day and night. Agamemnon sent Odysseus to Calchas, the priest and soothsayer. Calchas replied, give Chrysae back to her father without any ransom. The plague will go away with her. Odysseus took this news back to Agamemnon. Agamemnon called his war council together, and told his fellow leaders that he would not give up Chrysae. Achilles was furious, and said hundreds of men have fought and lost their lives, and you will not care to lose a slave girl. Agamemnon was silent for some seconds, and demanded Briseis in place of Chrysae, an oxcart full of gold and ten tenths of pure silk in addition. Achilles was about to draw his sword, and attack Agamemnon. But his hand only touched the hilt of the weapon. He did not attack Agamemnon, the Greeks had escaped a disaster. Achilles got back to his tent, and called his friend Patroclus, and told him to take back Briseis to Agamemnon's tent. Achilles called his followers together, and told them the war was over for them. He said we are going home, with whatever we have got.